no one has, I mean, no one has any questions, I'll ask. It, it feels like the mid season tournament was a success. Is there any talks about incentives for the teams outside of, for like the postseason or anything like that? Well, Further incentives? So, so yeah, I think the in-season tournament was a success. You know, we're rebranding at the NBA Cup next year. There was a lot of excitement from the players and teams and participating in it. Um, you know, well, I'm sure there'll be some t ongoing tweaks to it, but uh, it, it certainly met or exceeded our expectations in, in terms of creating some early um, season excitement. The play-in tournament, in some ways, has had the same impact in that we were hoping that in the stretch run that some teams maybe had an early injury earlier in the season or took a while to coalesce, that they would see an opportunity to sneak in through the play-in. You're seeing that as well. And there's also teams that, while they're pretty sure they're going to make the, the, the playoffs, are competing hard not to have to participate in the play-in, want to make sure they're in the sixth seed or better. So we've learned through that kind of innovation there are things we can do to change um, the competitive nature the structure of the league, even though the league's been around for a long time, I think it's given us permission to maybe think of some other opportunities. So those are things we're continuing to do. I, I, I mean, we recognize we want to make sure incentives are aligned at all times so that um, players uh, 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 you know, are fully incentivized to be on the floor. I mean, that, those are a few other rule changes we made, the 65 game threshold in order to be eligible for certain awards. We found that has made a difference in terms of, we, we saw increased participation of all-star players this season, which was something that rule set out to do. So, so I'm pleased with where we are, but we're gonna continue you know, through our competition committee, through our basketball operations department to look at other ways to improve competition. Is that all? Thanks, everybody. All right, thank you. I wanna ask one more. Sure. There's a lot of talk about reviewing plays and what can't be reviewed and what can be reviewed. There was a layup that went down, there was, there was a push in the back, stuff like that. that is there any talk about going back and maybe calling a foul after a, a, a play has been reviewed? Um, it, it, it's a fascinating topic, and we're always trying to find the right balance of the num amount of replay, the overall length of the game, and the flow of the game. And I know even from last night's game, sitting in the seats, that on one hand you want to get plays right, but when you're sitting there as a fan, or I'm sure at home watching on television, when there's what seems like an inordinate delay, there's a sense that you just want to get on with the game. And I know even from discussions with players, same issue. They want us to get it right, but again, it's a game of flow. And if you're standing there and getting cold for long enough, there's almost a question whether you should be rewarming up. So the, the place where I th see the opportunity is better technology. I mean, and, and it, it's two buckets. One is um, through our replay center, can we increase the time, or, or frankly shorten the time, in which it takes to do the replays? And that's something we're looking at, um, again, through better technology. Maybe ultimately the refs will have earpieces. Um, just ways to, 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 to in increase how that, that, the rate at which that happens. And to your point, once you go to replay, should we allow um, the officials to look at some other issues? Maybe not just did the ball get out of bounds, but, or was, was there a foul that caused the ball to go out of bounds? The other area that we're looking at is it's, it's all also use of technology, but it's not dependent on replay. It's, for example, if you think of in tennis, they have a system called Hawkeye that automatically determines whether the ball was in or out. So rather than thinking about a replay, you could have a system where, I'm um, taking this series, for example, with the Mavericks and the Celtics, where a system could automatically say Celtic ball because the system would pick up whose finger, whose hand the ball went off on, or whose foot touched the line. That would increase the flow of the game. You wouldn't even need replay. It would just be automatic like it is in tennis. So those are some of the things we're looking at. Is it good for the league if Luca's fouling out? One of the best players in the league is fouling out a game. You know, I don't look at it that way. I mean, you know, fouls and, and the number of fouls before you, you, you foul out of a game are part of the rules of the game. I mean, what's good for the league is that we evenly enforce our rules and that we have a, an officiating program of the highest integrity. That's what's best for the league.